Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, Shelley McDonald, teacher at the high school. I'm here tonight. Well, I'm sure you all know why I'm here tonight. Um, I wanted to express my disappointment in the school committee and in the administration for failure to communicate, for failure to answer my questions. I've asked many questions, and these questions seem like something that should be easily and readily answered by anyone who made the decision to put the wireless radiation into the high school, in, in, into all of the schools, actually. Now, I, I understand the routers are in. I've seen them. They're not on. There is wireless radiation in the high school right now. Um, there's actually a wireless router right next to my room, and I measure readings in my room every day. And I can tell you that they're quite high. They're much higher than I'm comfortable with. And when I went into the classroom to measure the router that is functioning all day, every day, it's 48 times higher than when I was standing across Route 1 from the cell tower with the 4G microwave radiation, I'm sorry, radiation antennas. I think that's much too high, much too high for a classroom. I'm not, I'm not sure how <sighs> it's responsible to keep something like that in there. We wouldn't have a cell tower on the premises, or I hope we wouldn't, so I'm not sure why we would put something so much more powerful in the classroom. Now, um, this week what I got in my mailbox was, I guess I'm a little bit nervous tonight, um, was, something, was something for concussion awareness for teachers. And I think that's important. Um, it, t it tells teachers how concussions could affect learning, the cognitive, emotional, physical things, sleep things that we can expect of our students and that parents and teachers should be looking for. I strongly urge this committee and this administration to do the same thing with wireless radiation because parents need to know what to look for. Teachers need to know what to look for. The cognitive and emotional and physical effects of concussions happen to be the same things that um, radiation sickness cause, things from wireless routers, cell phones, cell antennas, things like that. Um, inability to concentrate, memory loss, um, difficulty handling stimulating cl classroom environments, uh, irritability, headaches, dizziness, nausea, fatigue, there are others. But something like this could go a long way, and I would love the opportunity to make something like this up for the teachers, for the administration, and for the parents. And I'm not sure what's been going on in the way of um, parent communication and informed consent. As far as I can see, nothing, and I don't think anything has gone out to the teachers. I haven't seen anything. So I'm wondering when that's going to happen. I was so frustrated that I hadn't been getting my questions answered that I had to draft a Freedom of Information Act uh, letter that I sent to Dr. Auger. So I'm hoping that that will get some of these questions answered because there are things that we really need to know, the community needs to know, and we deserve to know. And that's all I have to say tonight. Are there any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mudge.